This introduction to Fisher information is offered by Statlect.com, the free digital textbook on probability, statistics, and matrix algebra. Fisher information is a measure of the amount of information about a parameter provided by a random variable or a sample. This lecture will motivate the definition of Fisher information. Fisher information plays a key role in the theory of maximum likelihood estimation. Let X be some data that has been extracted from a discrete probability distribution. The probability distribution is described by a parameter theta whose value is unknown. We denote by P of X and theta the probability of observing X when the parameter of the distribution is equal to theta. The maximum likelihood estimator of theta is the value of theta that maximizes the probability of observing X, which is also called the likelihood of theta. To find the maximum likelihood estimator, we maximize the natural logarithm of the likelihood, which is called log likelihood. This is the same as maximizing the likelihood because the logarithm is an increasing transformation. How much information do the data X provide about the parameter theta? Let us discuss two extreme cases. In the first case, if the probability of observing X is the same for all theta, then clearly X does not provide any information about theta. All the parameters are equally likely to have generated X. In the second case, if the probability of observing X is non-zero only for a single value of theta, then X provides all the information that is needed to uniquely pin down theta. There is only one parameter that could have generated X. These two extreme cases help us to understand all the other intermediate cases. Let's see how. The two extreme cases I have just described are depicted in the two upper plots. In these plots the values of theta are on the x-axis and the likelihoods are on the y-axis. In the left one, the likelihood is flat, all the parameters are equally likely to have generated the data, the data provides no information about the parameter. In the right one, the likelihood is non-zero at a single point. There is only one parameter that could have generated the data, the data provides complete information. The lower plots display two intermediate cases. In the left one, the likelihood is almost flat, it has very little curvature, all the parameter values have similar, although not identical, likelihoods, the data provides hardly any information. In the right one, the likelihood is highly curved, some parameter values are much more likely than others. The data provides a lot of information. What I have just said about curvature can be restated in terms of slopes. In the upper plots, a red asterisk marks the value of the likelihood function achieved by the maximum likelihood estimator. A black circle marks the value of the likelihood function in correspondence of the true parameter theta. Because of sampling variability, in general there is some estimation error and the maximum likelihood estimator is different from the true parameter. In the lower plots, I show the slopes, or first derivatives with respect to theta, of the likelihood functions. In correspondence of the maximum likelihood estimator, the slope is always zero, this is a necessary condition for a maximum. But in correspondence of the true parameter, the slope is almost always different from zero. In the left plot, the likelihood has little curvature, and the slope is close to zero. In the right plot, the likelihood is highly curved, and the slope at the true parameter is often large in absolute value. In both cases, the average magnitude of the slope of the likelihood at the true parameter is a measure of the information provided by the observed data. This leads us to the formal definition of Fisher information, reported in the next slide. Here's the definition. Fisher information, denoted by I of theta, is equal to the expected value of the square of the first derivative of the log likelihood. As I have explained, the magnitude of the derivative of the likelihood or, equivalently, of the log likelihood is related to the amount of information provided by the data. The expected value of the square of the derivative is a way of measuring its average magnitude. The expected value is with respect to the distribution of x. The Fisher information is large if on average the log likelihood is very sensitive to a change in the parameter theta. As previously demonstrated, 
This happens when the likelihood is highly curved and the data provides a lot of information about the parameter theta. Thank you for watching this introductory video. On statlect.com you can find more in-depth lectures, examples and exercises on hundreds of topics in probability, statistics, and matrix algebra.